Okay, you know, and welcome to your very first lesson on properties of geometrical figures. Today we are going to look at angles and triangles. Okay, most of this should be revision from year 7 and year 8. If it's not, we've got some serious issues, but most of it should be revision. So let's see where we go. Okay, basics of angles. I'm not going to waste time and you pretty much know this. We'll need to write this down and draw it if you don't. Okay, this point here is called the vertex. These guys off here few names for them. Uh, I like to call them rays. They are also sometimes known as uh, line segments or lines. I like to call them rays. Okay. Basic angle, vertex with two rays. Six different types of angles. Okay. Acute, right, obtuse, straight, reflex and revolution. You should know all of them and you should know them all off by heart and what, uh, what degrees of those angle types add up to. An acute is anywhere between 0 and 90, right is 90, obtuse is 90 to 180, a straight angle 180, straight line 180 degrees, reflex is the one a lot of you guys tend to forget for some reason, that's between 180 and 360. Now you're asking how could that possibly happen? Well, let's have a look, that's an obtuse angle in there at the moment. But if I look at it from the other side, okay, if I look from here to here, that's between 180 and 360, okay, so that's a reflex angle. The last one is a revolution, okay, and that's adding up to uh, 360 degrees. So if you had a line here, that's a really dodgy one, but if you had a line and you were saying that angle around there, that's 360 degrees. Okay. These are the important ones. You learn about these in year seven and year eight, and I can bet you any money if I asked you what a complementary angle is before you started this, none of you would have a clue, okay? But that's okay because we tend to forget these things. A quick jog of the memory, okay? When you're looking at complementary angles, you're usually looking at two, okay? We say complementary angles, an S at the end. You're looking at two angles that add up to 90 degrees. So if this is 60 in here, okay, the whole thing is 90, we're saying A plus the 60 equals 90, what's the A going to be? Of course, it's going to be 30 degrees in there, okay, because complementary angles add up to 90 degrees. Uh, the other, uh, the other, the opposite or the alternative for complementary is supplementary. Instead of adding up to 90, they add up to 180, okay, so if you've got this one here, we've got a straight, uh, straight angle here, you've got 41 degrees in here, Okay, you've got 80 degrees in here. Okay, the whole thing adds up to 180. So the supplementary angle of 41 degrees is going to be 130. Oh, what a moron, I wrote 138. 139 degrees. Okay, because 139 plus 41 is 180. So complementary 90, add up to 90. Supplementary, add up to 180. Okay, other, other concepts is the revolution, okay, a revolution adds up to a sum of 360 degrees, if so if you have a point with any particular lines coming off them, angle there, there and there are going to add up to 360 degrees, so in this case here, we have 15 degrees here, we have 90 degrees in there, which gives us 205, which means if the whole thing's 360, a in there is going to be 155 degrees in here, okay, so 115 plus 90 equals 360, this little guy in here is going to be 155, okay, so that's pretty easy. Uh, last concept that you need to remember, guys, is that this in here, vertically opposite angles, like this one here and this one here, they are always equal, okay, so if any angles are vertically opposite each other, they are equal which gives the same regard that if they're equal, these angles here, which are vertically opposite, are also going to be equal, okay? One of the most important things you have to remember, so that's, that's angles done, sorry, that's angles. We're, we've ticked off basics of angles. Here's your triangle basics, okay? Basic concepts to do with triangles. All interior angles add up to 180 degrees. That is the main thing. Remember that one? You'll be sweet. All interior angles add up to 180 degrees, no matter what the type of triangle is. it is, okay? 
that's interior. So that's angles inside. So if we look at a triangle here, that guy, that guy, and that guy add up to 180. An exterior angle is a little bit different. Okay, so this diagram down here shows an exterior angle. Okay, now an exterior angle is really formed, like it says, when we continue one side of the shape. So we continue this side going out here. How to work out that in there, that's no longer an interior angle. That's on the outside, okay? To work out that bad boy in there, it is the sum of this guy plus this guy. So B plus C equals the exterior angle, okay? Very simple, very straightforward. You will need to write all of this down and draw that diagram. Okay, Cheers. three types of triangles. You know these. They are very straightforward. They are very easy. You have been doing them since before the start of time. Okay, equilateral. Equilateral triangles have three angles of equal measure. Three angles of equal measure. Okay, inside them. Okay, so all angles are 60, 60, and 60 at the top. Six threes are 18, yeah? Equilateral, equal sides, equal angles. Isosceles, an isosceles triangle has two angles of equal measure, okay? So two angles in here will be of equal measure, so the same size, and then one that's different. We usually represent these with lines because also it has two sides, okay? We represent these with two lines um, either side to indicate that they those side lengths are the same size and by extension they have the same size angle, okay? And this here being the different angle. Now when we're trying to show that, I've drawn a really dodgy looking diagram, but when we're trying to show that, we do one line, okay, to show these two are equal, and then a different count of lines to show that the, the last one isn't equal, okay? So always make sure on the angles that are equal, you have the same um, amount of lines to indicate that angle. Scalene, totally off, okay? Scalene, oh, that was really dodgy. Scalene triangles have interior angles that are all different degrees, okay? Side lengths different, interior angles all different that's again really dodgy okay so I'll do one line on that two on that and one two three on that okay there are three different types of triangles scalene isosceles and equilateral so with all this giant amount of information what are you ever actually going to be asked to do so you could be asked to find supplementary and complementary angles okay so say I have a 47 degree angle okay and I have to determine the supplementary angle and the complementary. Okay, I know supplementary add up to 180. Okay, so if it's, I already have 47 degrees, to find the supplementary angle, that's 180 minus 47, which would give me 180, 47, 47, 133 degrees. Okay, that's the supplementary angle for the angle of 47. The complementary angle for the angle of 47, complementary add up to 90, so that's 90 minus 47 equals 90, 47, 43 degrees. Okay, that's complementary because complementary add up to 90. Okay, this time I am asked to name the triangle and to determine uh, the values of the pronumerals, okay? So if I'm naming the type of triangle, I've got two sides that are going to be of the same side length. I know because those are indicated with the sides. If these two sides are the same, that means that these two angles are also going to be the same and the top one's going to be the difference, okay? So it's an isosceles. Isosceles, that's a bit dodgy. An isosceles triangle, okay? Um, oh, and I spelled that wrong, so let's just get that spelt right. Isosceles is spelt I-S-O-S-C-E-L-E-S, -E -E isosceles, okay. And if that's 120, the whole entire triangle must add up to 180. So it's going to be R degrees in here. Okay, and that's going to be the same as this one over here, isn't it? Okay, because it's an isosceles. So, okay, so it's going to be 180 minus 120. 180 minus 120 leaves me with 60. Now, that's not 60 degrees for this bad boy here. 
that's 60 degrees amongst that and that. So both of those angles, which means that R must be half of 60. So R degrees is going to be 60 divided by 2, which is going to be 30 degrees. Let's just check that's right. 30 plus 30 is 60 plus 120 is 180. That's how I do that one. Okay, exterior angles. So I know this question, I know I'm being asked to find an exterior angle because I noticed that the angle that's being indicated by the pronumeral Y is outside my triangle. So I can no longer use this concept of interior angles that up to 180. I need to employ a new idea. Okay, so I got told before that in order to find out this one here, it's the opposite interior angles. So the opposite ones to these ones here. Okay, this one here and that one there. If I know those two, I can work out why. Okay, and so I know that that little box there indicates 90 degrees. Okay, and this one here is 55 okay, degrees. And so 90 plus 55 equals 145 degrees. So y degrees equals 145. And that's it, guys. It's not too hard. Most of it should be revision.